Hello guys and welcome to episode 1 of my RuneScape Efficiency Tips series and this one is going to be all about fishing. So we probably all know that the best way to turn your fishing is at the Barbarian Lake, catching the leaping fish, which you can start at level 58 fishing. Before that just do fly fishing and do quests that give fishing XP and you can get yourself to your fishing level pretty quickly. And from level 58 onwards this is the best way to train your fishing. Now you won't be making any money but this is all about efficiency and there are better ways to make money than with fishing. So we're just going to focus on getting the fastest XP possible. Now in this guide I'm going to show you guys how to fish faster than you normally would be able to, either in 4 or 3 ticks. Now normally catching fish you can catch one fish every 5 ticks, but there are certain ways to make it so you catch a fish every 4 ticks and every 3 ticks, which obviously is a lot faster experience. So this first method here is what people call tree fishing, and this is a way to 4 tick fish, which means catch a fish every 4 ticks instead of every 5 ticks like you normally would. And obviously it's a bit more click intensive, but it's also a lot faster experience. So as you can see what I'm doing here is I'm clicking the tree behind me, dropping a fish, and then clicking back on the fishing spot. And when you do that, for whatever reason it just it changes the game code or something. I don't know exactly how it works under the, under the hood or whatever you want to say. But either way it makes it so you can catch a fish within 4 ticks. And at 99 fishing this maxes out at about 76 to 77k fishing XP per hour. Which means it's about a 10 to 15, actually around a 15 to 20 percent increase in XP rate, which is really quite good, and it really helps you maximize your experience rate. Um, the only problem with tree fishing is that there's only two fishing spots where you can do this method, because there's only two fishing spots at the Barbarian Lake, where there's a tree right behind you, and obviously if there isn't a tree behind you, you can't do this. So there is one other way to perform four tick fishing, which I'll show you guys next. Okay, so when you don't have a tree available for 4 tick fishing, it makes it a little bit more annoying, but it's still completely possible to do. Now obviously in this clip I'm fishing at a tree spot, so I'm just doing this for the sake of the video to show you guys how to do it, because there will be a lot of times when you don't have a tree fishing spot available. So basically you can activate 4 tick fishing whenever you're opening an interface for crafting. So that's for things like fletching, crafting, and uh, herb lore. Where you, where you use an item on another item and it opens up an, in, an interface in your uh, chat box and then you click on something that you want to craft and then quickly click back to the fishing spot and if you get the timing right then you can 4 tick, four tick fish doing this and I believe it works for crafting things like dehydes and obviously you don't actually make the item because you click back before it is made but it causes the delay to be shortened between catching fish now the main shortcoming of this comes when you are dropping your fish because you cannot drop fish and do the, the uh, crossbow method or anything else. You just you can't do it in that amount of ticks unless you have some crazy auto hotkey script or whatever. So what I usually end up doing while I'm doing this is just dropping my inventory with mouse keys afterwards. Now another thing you can do if you want to speed it up a bit is just drop do five tick fishing where you fish one, drop one or fish or fish like one and drop five or something like that to empty your inventory then go back to four ticking. It won't, it won't end up making a big difference, but you can do that also. But yeah, it is kind of annoying. There are Another way to activate 4-tick fishing is actually by laying a box trap or a magic trap for catching imps. And the imp trap will always stay on top of the stack after you drop it. So you lay a trap and then quickly click back and that'll 4-tick. But it isn't really that much easier and it would be very difficult to drop while 4-ticking unless you're doing tree fishing. But either way, you still will be getting a lot faster experience doing 4-tick fishing than doing 5-tick fishing. So the next method is 3-tick fishing, and it is very difficult, and I'll show you guys exactly how it works. Okay, so this is 3-tick fishing, and the way it works is that um, basically whenever you eat a piece of food, um, it, act it stalls the delay for fishing and makes it so that it's 3-ticks instead of 5-ticks. So obviously that's even faster than 4-tick fishing, but it is also a lot more click intensive and the reason that you can do this easily at barbarian fishing is because when you use a knife on the fish it will make them into either roe or caviar which are edible pieces of food I guess and they're also the items that are used to make mix potions which nobody does but yeah you can use them to um, eat and activate three tick fishing which is very fast fishing XP if you get good at it but it's very hard to master it requires basically perfect timing and uh, I would highly recommend if, if you're going to try to do this method to go on a world that has good ping for you. So choose a world that's close to your location. I find since I'm American that if I'm on American servers, I can do this a lot easier than if I'm on British servers or German servers. 
So it's kind of interesting, but yeah, you really need perfect timing, and what you do is you use, each time you catch a fish, you use the knife on it and eat a piece of roe or caviar and click back on the fishing spot as quickly as you can. And as you can see, it's very click intensive, but also a very fast experience. From what I've heard, at level 99 fishing, you can get up to 88k experience per hour doing this, but that's basically if you were doing it absolutely perfectly, perfect ticks, no ticks wasted, which is really, really difficult to do. You guys can try it out and see for yourselves how difficult it actually is. But anyways, yeah, that's how you do 3-tick fishing, and another advantage to 3-tick fishing is that you also get a bit of cooking experience, because whenever you make row, you get 10 cooking experience, whenever you make caviar, you get 15 cooking experience. So you end up, if you do this all the way to 99 fishing, you're going to end up getting about 1.5 million cooking experience, which is kind of nice, it's not really a big deal, because it's only maybe 5 hours saved, but it's still sort of nice, and it also is obviously the fastest fishing experience in the game. But yeah, overall... It would take you very long time to take you a very long time to actually get very good at three tick fishing so that you can do it and get faster experience per hour than four tick fishing and four tick fishing is definitely a lot easier to do um, but as you can see I just got a random event and if you you can see that I can activate three tick fishing by eating any food so I got the kebab the kebab and I ate the kebab right after I caught a fish and that three ticks also and um, another annoying thing about three tick fishing is that the leaping trout do not always make row or yeah do not always make row. So um, sometimes if you cut a a leaping trout, then you won't get any row, and then you'll have to wait five ticks to catch another fish, um, which can get kind of annoying, and it means that you can't do it perfectly. Now the only way to actually perfectly three tick fish is if you use purple sweets or some kind of stackable food, really, because purple sweets are obviously stackable food. Each time you eat a purple sweet, it will activate three tick fishing. But obviously, nobody would actually want to do that because the purple sweets are like 2.5k each. There's absolutely no reason in your right mind to ever do that. But it's just kind of funny, I guess trivial, I guess. I don't really know. Another thing I'm not sure of is whether you can do this with potions. I've never tried it, but maybe you could do potions, have four doses in bank. But I don't think that would be faster experience. But anyways, yeah, some interesting ways to train your fishing that are a bit faster experience. And uh, I encourage you guys to try out these methods. Four tick fishing really isn't too bad if you're uh, considering just actually sitting at your computer and not AFKing. Um, and three-tick fishing is very click intensive and very difficult, but obviously it is a bit faster experience. But anyways, guys, I think that's about it for the first episode of RuneScape Efficiency Tips. I hope this has helped you out, and I hope that you get your fishing, fishing level up quickly using these methods. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. And I will see you guys in the next video.